Hi guys, in this video we will be talking about how to configure a textured leather. We're going to go through every single step, one by one. There are a few technical specificities that you're going to need to know, so hang on there and by the end of this lesson you'll be able to configure a stunning leather for your renders. So the first step is to import your material. So right now my material has already been set up in the default tray of SketchUp. What you're going to need to do now is to go in the Enscape Material Editor that you can find right here. And we're going to select our specific material that we're going to be using right now. Right now, you can see here that we have our texture that we've imported already into our SketchUp file. Now, we're going to need to add a bit of texture because right now you can see everything's very flat. So we need to create or add a bit of bump. So for that, we need to go in the height map. Bump map is already set up and just click on file and we're going to select the specific. So in the first instance, we've added the bump map. And if you zoom a little bit, you can see right now that we're starting to have a bit of relief, a bit of bumpness. Right now, you can't really see it very well. The reason for that is that, as you can see right now, the leather is completely matte. It doesn't capture the light, which is essential. So lighting is absolutely key, whether it's lighting a scene or just lighting the materials, because we know that in real life, every single material reflects the light, and that is exactly what creates realism. So to do so, and we will readjust the bump up afterwards, we need to first tweak the roughness of this material, because right now, obviously, as I was saying, it's way too matte. For that, we need to go in roughness. So roughness, you can see here, if we're at 100%, as it is right now, it looks completely flat. However, and I'm going to go really to the extreme, if we set up the roughness to zero, suddenly it gives us like this very kind of plastic feel to it, which is obviously not what we're looking for. Usually when we're setting up leather, the perfect balance is something around 50 to 60%. Uh, so right now you can see how suddenly the fact that we've added some brightness and some shine to our leather, the bump that we've incorporated previously really stands out versus what we saw previously. Now it feels like right now maybe the bump map is a bit too rough, so we can obviously play around with that. So right now we can see we have something a bit more subtle. Why not lower it down? So there we go. One, I'd say around that area looks actually quite good. It's still subtle, but you still feel the, the relief that we expect to have from a, a leather material. We can maybe make the roughness a little bit more matte. Like this. And right now you can see we have a really nice slightly textured um, leather which really looks good and clearly captures extremely well the light. Look at that, how beautiful that is. So there you have it, uh, how to configure a stunning textured leather for your projects. Make sure to subscribe to my channel, like this video if it was helpful and don't hesitate to comment. I'm more than happy to answer any of your questions and I'll see you soon.